Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Jonathan Rodriguez, and I'm super excited to be doing this talk with you today. I'm especially excited to be working with Amar and the entire ZenMade family again, as well as being in the company of some great minds in the cleaning industry. You know, this is my second year speaking at this summit, and I have even more information to share with you all and helping you grow your businesses. And just a little bit about me, uh, I've been involved in online marketing since 2002. And over the years as an SEO consultant, I've had hundreds of clients and been on thousands of calls all over the world, teaching people how to do SEO and online marketing, as well as doing it for them. Literally from the US to Canada, to the UK, to Africa, to the Middle East, to Asia, even the outback of Australia, I've had clients everywhere. And funny enough, in 2012, I accidentally started a cleaning business with, my, uh, with some friends in Salt Lake City. So I learned a lot about the different ways to market a cleaning company online, and I gained a deep knowledge of cleaning company SEO and all that goes along with it. I know some of you already from previously working on your cleaning businesses and from many of these, these Facebook groups that we're in for cleaning. So for those of you I don't know yet, I'm here to share my SEO knowledge and experiences with you to help you grow your businesses. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you know, the first thing I'm going to talk to you about here is how to have your website make you money and draw on a constant stream of customers. It can always be done. Many people have a website or they have made, you know, uh, they've had one made for their cleaning business and they put in basic information about their company on there. They put in their contact information, their list of services, a biography about the, about the owners, a statement about how great they can do things like that. You know, you've invested $500 or $5,000 to get your website up and running, and you're probably paying a monthly fee of some sort. You know, so now you have a beautiful website, and you should have, you know, ZenMade integrated into it to help you save time and money and, and give you, and give the website visitor an easy way to book. You know, but now what? You know, uh, people can find you from word of mouth, flyers, which we'll talk about here later, Thumbtack, uh, Angie's List, another type of paper lead provider. Maybe you've even listed your website on Google, you know, but wouldn't it be great to recover some of that money that you spent and then some, you know, but new potential customers can find your company or your website online if you haven't put it out there yet and optimized it for search. So number one, always make sure you register your business with Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Fill out all the information that they ask for, including, you know, address, description, categories, services, and photos, and then optimize that information. And make sure you choose the right categories also. That's really important. You know, in theory, you don't want to do it all because Google, and I'm referring to, you know, all the search engines as well as Google. And when I say Google, you know, throughout this talk, you know, they will treat a house cleaning business and a commercial cleaning business and a carpet cleaning business and a window cleaning business, you know, and pressure washing and all that as separate types of businesses. Meaning that if you're in a big town, you're not going to really rank for all of those different types of things in the Google Maps area. You just won't. Now, if you're in a small town, you know, you may be able to rank for some of those both, you know, carpet cleaning, let's just say, and house cleaning. But you have to be in a pretty small town because there are people who just specifically are, uh, they're specializing in just house cleaning or they're specializing in just window cleaning. Google will always choose the specialists first. So that's something you really don't want to do. You kind of want to pick the one that's going to be the most relevant for you. So keep that in mind. I mean, I can go on for an hour about that subject alone, you know, and the different keywords and how all that works and stuff. But we don't have time for that during this talk in particular. But feel free to message me afterward if you do have those questions. So why is this important? Why do you want to be on the first page of Google? Well, to be perfectly honest, you know, your competitors are already doing it. You know, if you do a Google search, you know, after this video you'll be able to see who's on page one and who's not. You know, I guarantee you the people who are on page one of Google are receiving most of the phone calls. They're getting those recurring clients and they're making the majority of the money. You know, and the only thing that they've done differently is they've taken action and reinvested a portion of their profits into marketing so they can make even more money. You know, all successful businesses that I've seen do this. You know, they're not afraid. They just get it done and thank themselves afterward. I've personally been there. There was a time in my life when I wouldn't spend $10 on something. You know, $10 is, well, you get what you pay for anyway. You know, I was just afraid of, well, what if I do that and it doesn't work? You know, and really it's that situation where you look at these successful people, they have marketing budgets, they're growing, and there's a reason why. Because they know that in order to 
grow in certain areas, you need to be able to put money out. So it's important to do that. You know, so how do you outrank your competitors? What do you, what is it that you do? Well, let's talk about some service keywords here. You know, it's possible that you can rank your website in your city, your town, or even multiple cities in your area for many different keywords that you're interested in. You know, I call this something as simple as thinking outside the box. You know, every company wants to rank for house cleaning and maid service and cleaning service. Those are the highest searches, you know, um, but they also have the highest competition. Those keywords should always be your number one goal, you know, with SEO. And it'll turn your website into a lead generation machine, I guarantee you. But what if you showed up in Google for other service keywords that your competitors, you know, are, uh, that are also optimizing for? Or maybe they haven't even thought about optimizing for yet. You know, I've, I've personally identified at least 30 plus residential cleaning keywords that people do search for. You know, I'm finding more all the time. You know, there are other keywords in other industries as well, but for the purpose of time, we're just talking about house cleaning today. Uh, depending on your city and the size of your city, depends on how many searches there are for those particular keywords too. You know, and these keywords are something that you already know that you're already doing. You know, you're already doing things like move out cleaning and green cleaning and Airbnb cleaning, um, real estate cleaning, make ready cleaning, event cleaning, post construction cleaning, all those things, you know. So you don't want to overlook that low hanging fruit. You know, uh, some of them in my early days in the cleaning business kept us fed while we were growing, uh, which was really helpful. You know, so make sure you lift, list your services on your website. Your customers in your area are looking for specific types of cleaning services. You know, you may not think that they're doing that, but they certainly are. You know, they're not just the usual keywords that you may be thinking of. You know, and when we started out, you know, we didn't have any marketing budget. We started out with nothing. And since I was the only one who was paying for anything, I decided, well, I'm just going to SEO our way to the top and just see what happens, you know. And that's what really was able to give me the ideas of, wow, there's more keywords than I just than I thought originally in the cleaning industry that people are searching for. And we were able to kind of just take this away, you know, which was helpful. So it is important to always um, make sure that you are thinking outside the box and you are thinking about the different types of keywords and services that you're offering. That's really helpful. Okay, so how a single keyword added more than $5,000 a month to my own cleaning business without even trying. So uh, one day we received a call from a billionaire. That billionaire was the owner or is the owner of Under Armour. Uh, his people may have called. I'm not quite sure. I didn't answer the phone at the time, but he needed to remodel post-construction cleaning performed uh, on his penthouse apartment in the ski town of Park City, Utah, which is just over the, the hill from us. Uh, you know, how do you find us? Well, I optimized part of my website for post-construction cleaning and then the keyword Salt Lake City. I didn't even uh, optimize it for post-construction cleaning Park City at that time. I've now done everything. So now people in this area can't really... Google without seeing one or more of my websites up there, which is cool. And so that's a different technique, a little bit more of an advanced technique. But, you know, that the point is that lo that job led to more jobs with that contractor, you know, for his own individual projects, as well as other contractors and builders start calling us every single week. And next thing you know, we're doing a lot of high dollar jobs. You know, we're doing new homes. We're doing tract homes. We're doing condos, restaurants, post construction, you know, even auto dealerships, you know. And once you do a good job for a contractor once, generally they'll call you again and again and again for their, their projects, just like any other type of niche that you would have. If you work uh, doing a lot of move outs, let's just say for a property management company or something like that, you know, you do a good job, they call you back, which is good. I, li I particularly, like, particularly liked uh, post-construction because I didn't have people kind of, you know, watching after us the whole time. I was able to get like more of a crew in there, which was good. Uh, maybe some people who weren't cert who weren't very um, detail oriented for homes, you know. So we were able to get to get some really good money out of that. And you know, this was back, you know, before you know ZenMate, I believe, had a group, you know, as well as some of these other people who are speaking today uh, or during this during the summit who were able to help you scale a lot quicker. So for us, you know, in our small crew, I think we had four, maybe six people. That's where we were able to top out at, but we had to turn down jobs all the time. So with people who have larger crews, 
you know, we're talking probably 20,000 or more a month. So it, it is, depends on how many people you really have and how, you know, how willing you are to accept different jobs and, and whatnot. So, and that was just one keyword in one city, you know, imagine what would happen if you had multiple service keywords, you know, in more than one city. You know, your growth in the cleaning industry is only limited by your ambition, you know, and the resource that you put back into your business. So how do we do this? You know, how do we, you know, start, you know, uh, being able to grow in this sort, in this sort of uh, arena? You need to start by listing these services on your website and writing professional content about those services. You know, uh, generally some people are great writers and they write, write their own stuff and it's amazing, but you also need to make sure that you're able to optimize those pages to get them to that first page of Google. You know, and details about all the ins and outs of how to do all of that is just a whole separate talk as well. But it is something that is, uh, it's, it's lucrative, it's helpful, and it's something that I think that's going to be really, uh, you know, easy for people to, to understand once we get to the end of this, uh, this, this talk. So just, again, imagine what you can do and, and the type of profit that happens with these different types of keywords, like recurring cleans. Uh, back when I was doing this, you know, we're talking average about $300 a month if you're going in to someone's home every two weeks. Move out cleans were about $300 to $800 a month, you know, or I'm sorry, one time. Uh, grout cleaning, I didn't do that, but I have some clients who do that. That's pretty good money. $300 to $800, which is great. Post construction, these are per job. Fifteen hundred, five thousand dollars, that sort of, that sort of money. So imagine what all the other keywords, you know, are combined, and you want to make sure that you're winning. You want to make sure that you are able to outfox your competitors by by doing this, by being able to get new pages on your site optimized for your cities, which is helpful. All right, great. So the do's and don'ts of SEO. We're going to be talking about that. Number one, do make sure you have a website. I've had clients message me and ask about SEO and they don't have a website yet. So it's very important you do have a website. There is nothing to optimize. There, you know, there's two, uh, there's nothing, I'm sorry, there's nothing to optimize, you know, uh, if you don't have a website. So keep that in mind. And do make sure you set up your Google My Business page. That is, you know, those two are actually tied together intrinsically with Google. So if your website talks about teeth whitening, but your Google My Business talks about, you know, um, uh, house cleaning, you know, Google is going to uh, not put the two and two together and they're not going to really put you anywhere. So make sure you have that and it's set up correctly. Do be sure to add content to your website. You know, uh, Google likes to read information. They want to make sure that you have information about who you are, what you do, why you're the best at it, that sort of thing. You know, if you don't have content on your site, please go ahead and start writing that. Uh, if you want to hire somebody, you can do that as well. Just make sure you hire somebody who knows what they're doing. And that's really important. You're going to want to hire a consultant or an honest SEO person who will take care of that for you. And those people generally, like myself, would know the right amount of words for this particular industry. Or if you're trying to do different cities in your area, there's a certain amount of words for that and how it needs to be written and, and so forth. So keep that in mind. If you are going to hire somebody, you know, ask for proof, ask for testimonials, ask for case studies from vendors, ask for referrals, things like that. You know, uh, some people don't really have that. They'll just say, hey, we can do this. And uh, they'll just try to hope that they can make it happen. And really, it's good to have, you know, some referrals and testimonials and, and things like that. Okay, don't, don't try DIY methods, you know, for SEO. And what I mean by that is this. I don't mean try to learn it yourself. You're, you know, anyone's welcome to learn a new skill. That's great. And that's a really great skill to learn. It takes years, you know, what well, could take years, depending on if, you know, what type of program that, that you get. Now, I've noticed that in my industry, I know that the amount of content I have to write for a medical spa is different than the type of amount of content I have to write for a house cleaning company or something like that. So keep that in mind. It's a little bit different. But what I mean by DIY, I mean software and plugins. So you may run across something where it may say, this is the ultimate SEO software. We're using AI and, you know, you plug in this software and your page one of Google. That's incorrect. It's not true. It's likely fraud and it's not going to happen that way. Um, you know, it's really a human edited type of situation where you're really having to go back and test things constantly. Okay, is this working? How is it working? Are there enough words on this page? Is it optimized correctly? Does it have enough backlinks? What kind of backlinks are they? Where are they coming from? So that's usually, it's, it's always a human performed task. So keep that in mind there. 
Uh, plugins, the only all, the only thing that plugins do for like WordPress sites are really just help you get on-page optimization done correctly, or it allows you to be able to do on-page optimization. But there's nothing that you can install. There's nothing that you can really buy that's automatic that will get you up there. That is all just essentially a money grab. And then don't get sold by professional salespeople either. You know, there are people who call you and say, oh, we're going to get you on the first page of Google, blah, blah, blah. And they're hustlers, you know, and their job is to be able to figure out how much money you have, how much, how much you're willing to part with, you know, and they also have the sales tactics too. Like if you buy a car, you know, they they kind of play games with you a little bit, you know, they'll even, you know, give you an offer and then pull it off the table, things like that. So Salespeople, you know, in that industry are not consultants. They're just there to make a sale and they have no idea how to actually do this type of work. And so they're there just to do that. And then if they make that sale, you go to somebody who they, they supposedly will perform the work, never having even spoken with you. You do not want that. Brokers, you really necessarily don't want brokers either. Brokers essentially will say, okay, great. You know, this works for me. So I'm going to have this person, you know, over here work on, AdWords, all this person work on Facebook, all this person work on, you know, uh, SEO, and then they just take a bunch of money off the top. So they may pay, you know, they may take that whatever it would cost them and double or triple that money. So you're essentially paying more than you should be and not really speaking to the expert. You're speaking to someone who is like brokering all of that in between. And that seems a little dis disingenuous. You really want to work with principals in that situation. Someone who you can call and say, hey, I've got this question. You know, what kind of answers do you happen to have for me? And then telemarketers, you know, you don't want people calling you and saying they get you on the first page of Google. A lot of times when they're out, when they're outbound calling you or, you know, cold calling you, they really are just trying to, you know, get a sale. They really don't know what they're doing, you know, and so just keep that in mind that those are the type of people that you really don't want to work with most of the time. I'm not saying a hundred percent of the time, but it's most of the time from what I, you know, from what I see in my experience. All right. So as a recap, we talked about how to make your website, make you money and draw on a constant stream of customers. We talked about how to outrank your competitors. We talked about how adding a single page of content added more than $5,000 a month to my own cleaning business and how you can too, and we also talked about, you know, the do's and don'ts of, uh, of SEO, you know, and you probably receive calls all day long from salespeople saying that they're with Google or they're all, they'll do their, your SEO for you, but they don't explain specifically to you what they're going to do. You know, they don't have that type of knowledge. They're just trying to make a sale, like I said. So, you know, what you do need is someone to be able to come up with a strategy that's specific to your market, your budget, what your needs are things like that. You know, you don't need a salesperson selling you air. And that's what a consultant in any industry does. You know, what a consultant does is they solve problems, they adapt to changes, they identify opportunities, they'll help you grow in your area. They help you with landing page conversion, meaning making your website convert well. So when people get to your site, you're the one who gets the call or the sale or the lead, you know, and someone who's, you know, easily available to help and will tell you the truth and, and really won't let you down. You know, and I myself am available to help, you know, uh, you achieve that success and to help you fit it in a price that's going to fit with your budget. Not only do I do it myself, you know, but my team and I have years and years of experience in the SEO world, you know, but we also have the resources that some of the people just don't possess control or know how to use. So some people don't even bother to do that. They just say, okay, we got your money here. That's great. I'm going to set up a website and it's gonna, supposed to be magic and it's just going to work really, really well for you. And that's just not the case most of the time. Sometimes you need to fight. You need to fight to get to that first page of Google. And that's something that you need to consider when you're working with somebody who's a professional at this. You know, and there's many SEO tactics that, you know, I have figured out over the years that work really, really well for this. Uh, SEO is never instant, but sometimes you can get really fast wins. Sometimes I, I've even impressed myself sometimes, you know, and sometimes it can take a little bit longer depending on how the competition is, you know, and, I see there could be 10 competing pages in one city and another city I can see 1300, you know, so it's, it's de definitely different and you need that special someone to, to look at your site and say, okay, I've seen this before. I know what to do. This is how we're going to do it, you know, and to not just say, oh, well, just trust me and, and, you know, give us your money. And Google has over about over 200 ranking factors when it comes to SEO. 
And unless you're looking to learn an entirely new industry, you may want to consider uh, my help. And if that's the case, I've got an offer for just the ZenMade uh, attendees here. You know, what I want to offer you here is if we decide we're a good fit, you know, uh, no setup fees, essentially. Most experienced SEO companies have fixed upfront costs for onboarding new clients. Those go into content writing, you know, uh, it goes into paying people if they're if, if not doing it themselves, uh, working on optimization, creating backlinks, making sure the Google My Business is fixed, making sure your your website's mentions, the name, the address, and the, pl and the phone number are all, you know, the same across the board. If not, they're creating new ones, hundreds of them all the time to make sure that Google, that's just a ranking factor with Google. So lots of, well, there's lots of costs involved, but uh, for, for Zenimate attendees only, I'll go ahead and waive all those fees. So there's not an upfront type of cost. And sometimes also those can go to people who are salespeople as well. So uh, if there's ever an upfront fee, it either goes to, you know, building, you know, uh, out your site or it goes to commissions for salespeople. Uh, I'm also offering discounted packages as well to fit your needs, budget and growth rate. Uh, I don't have a specific number where it says, okay, everyone has to start here because everyone starts a little bit differently. You know, it has to be a reasonable, you know, uh, rate obviously. So to where we can pay for the things that we need and also make it worth our time, you know? So, but I'm definitely willing to work and have worked with many different people, many different types of budgets and every package that, I've ever created for people, especially in the cleaning industry, they always make sense when it comes to return on investment as quickly as possible, which is good. This is a personalized service and that's what's great about it. And also, you know, free one-on-one -on -one consultation. You know, uh, I was employed as a consultant professionally for six years uh, at one point and the company I worked for charged $250 an hour to talk to me. I didn't find that out for like a while. But, uh, you know, that's, it, you know, and I did a good job at it. I, you know, I talked to people all over the world and they all had unique businesses in all different types of markets. So um, also with that, you'll get a free one-on-one -on -one consultation before anything that's, that's set up to be able to uh, find out what your specific needs are and to help you grow, which is good. So uh, Leslie, uh, lastly, uh, there's a link right here you'll see for uh, our case studies. And on that page, you'll be able to not only read case studies about real world people, some people you may even know, you know, uh, where their rankings are, how long it's taken them, what type of results they've seen, some testimonials in there, but also there, I'm going to offer everybody uh, a suite of flyers. And those flyers are going to be able to help you just gain more customers. And some of them are for post construction. Some of them are for uh, house cleaning. They're for maid service. Some of them even actually are designed to, help take away business from unlicensed cleaners, you know, which happens a lot in different industries. So it's a whole suite. You'll learn a lot more about it on that page. Everyone's welcome to have that. That's a free, that's the free gift at the end of the call. And also you're willing, you're, you're more than welcome to book a call with me. I'll be happy to uh, give you a free evaluation. No questions asked. I'm not going to call and call and call and harass, you know, but if you feel that you have a marketing budget, you feel like, you know, this could be a good thing for you. I'm happy to go ahead and have that call with you, send you a proposal, see how it goes and go from there. So I want to thank everybody today for listening to this call. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to click on that link or type that link into your browser so you can get to that page. So you can see the case studies, testimonials, and get your free gifts. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.